Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So I've got some deliveries today and um, there's a little bit of a theme with two of them and then this one, yay, we'll look at this one first. I'll just pop those on one side for now. Them over there, stay. <laughs> this one is my prize. Yeah, if you remember um, last month, or was, it, or was it for June? No, it was for June. Um, Craft Buddy on Craft Buddy Crystal Art Facebook group. Uh, they do a competition and anything that you've made using just their products if you pop that onto like a little folder uh, on that group then uh, they pick out a prize winner for whichever one they like the best for that month and for the month of June my card that I made for my granddaughter with the sloth on one so I got to choose a card of my choice uh, which is about a five pound win and this is what I chose I haven't got this one uh, it's from the new set that came out uh, earlier in the year and I've ummed and ahed about buying them and then I ended up just buying a couple that I really, really liked. But I didn't get this one because it was out of stock and it is a hair with poppies. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? So they're like a partial and they tend to be uh, a mixture. Yep, yeah, this one's a mixture of crystals and resin gems uh, all craft buddy items are resin if you buy the single cards this is how they come in a nice little tent card uh, and then you get your key code on the back with all your letters and then it gives you your dmc codes and anything with like an a b there or that starts with a zero or if it starts with a letter is either a crystal or a special shape or in this case we've got a green AB oh so that'll be nice so let's have a quick look at this one I know if you've been with me for a while you'll have seen me looking at oh, get it the other way look I'm so excited to get into it <laughs> oh I'm destroying my packaging no <laughs> oh no I've ripped it that's torn it boom boom <laughs> okay so yeah, anybody that's been with me for a while will know that uh, these are my favourite um, cards to buy. I've not met, I've not really come across another company that are as good, um, but I'm still looking. You know, there there are other companies out there, but to me these are like the A quality. Um, let me know in the comments if you've tried other cards and you've found them really good. But yeah, I mean, as I said, all their drills are resin and they're the same as the ones that they use on the canvases and then the crystals are always lovely and sparkly so yeah we've got a, a little hair in amongst the poppies and the wild flowers and i just think he looks so wise and i do like hairs um i do like the sort of story behind the uh, hair in the moon and all the uh, things that go with it the folklore that goes with it so yeah um it is a partial so most of the cards are so the back background is just like um, a normal printed card but then as you can see where there are letters um, that's where you put all your drills and everything and they're always a good quality stick these I don't uh, seal my cards unless as I've said before they're going to little ones or somebody that's likely to pick the little gems off <laughs> I think they're about a 300 GSM card stock so they were a really good weight and uh, they don't fall over on mantelpieces and things and they pass the waft test. I always like to give them a good waft and see whether they just blow over and disappear, but they don't. And once you've got your gems on as well, uh, that'll make it that little bit more weighty to keep it in place. But then having the gems and everything on, they are quite heavy. So you do need a good quality card to keep them stood up. Otherwise, every time you stand your card up, it's going to fall over from the weight. So, yeah, I do like craft buddy, as you can probably gather. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, and thank you for picking my card as the winner for the month of June and uh, letting me choose this one free of charge. It's always nice to get a freebie. Uh, the envelope's a good quality as well, and um, so you're not going to be seeing your card through these. We've, we've already got the pre-gummed side on them there as well. They are an 18 centimetre by 18 centimetre square, so they're a nice size, it's a seven inch card. So uh, what you can do is either use it as is, um, or I like to put them onto an eight inch by eight inch greetings card, a blank one, and then I put my messages or names or ages or whatever around the edges of that 
so that they then can use the um, card as a picture or you could actually just do this I might even just do this as a picture uh, as I, say, I do have trouble getting rid of the getting rid of them sending them out <laughs> I do like to keep them all for myself but yeah just think he's really pretty okay and then you get the nice tall kit which is branded so you've got your crystal art uh, pen in there you've got about 20 grip seal bags piece of wax and a boat and it's a three placer that's on the end of your pen there as well so yeah I do like that uh, lovely purple um, foily colour on the white there that was really classy Okay, and then the gems. Now the gems are all specific to the cards. If you're wanting to double check that you've got the right drills with the right card, if you look on the back of the card, um, there is the code there, and that is on every packet of gems or drills that comes with it. So you'll always be able to find your packets, unless they've gone down the side of the settee, and then I'm not much help on that, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, so we have what did we say we have on this? 11 different gems and colours. And this, there is the DMC coat. So we've got various different browny colours. Um, I mean, that is a lot of brown colours to go on this little card, on this little hair. Um, but yeah, that's what Craft Buddy, to me, do the best, in my opinion. Because they, they really do think about the shading and the gradients to try and make it look really 3D so that it stands out from the card rather than just being a flat picture. And then it looks like they're going to be like the poppy colours then, the brownie colours. So that will be interesting. Or unless, now then, let me look. Number 70 is L. So are they the... Right, so, okay. The poppies, I, K and L, yeah. So these are all just the rabbit and a little bit of the grass colour and the background colour. So all of those up to there are all going to be, it's just not a rabbit, it's, it's a hair. <laughs> okay, and then we've got the red in three different shades. So you've got your very dark red, your standard red, and then like a very cherry red and they will all go on the poppies so even in the crystals the poppies have got three different colours on them just to give them that gradient and that extra shine wow so again smashing the specials i may be doing this one for that or i may save it for when i do another card thing but i don't think this one is possibly going to end up on my wall because it is very very sweet okay, and i have got my other uh, Hair. I can't say rabbit again, I have got my other hair picture to do that I got in a previous unboxing that comes with its little frame um, so I could always put them together but then I'd need them more because I'd want three wouldn't I <laughs> so put those back in there, let's keep him in his tent card and I'll put my toolkit out of the way because I don't keep those with my kits I don't keep those with my kits Right, so let's have a look at the next one. I have opened them to see which ones they were. Okay, and these are double sided tape canvases. Oh, okay. One out of there. And we've got gems in fill grip seal bags. And we've got DMC codes on the bags as well. And then just on there. That is our canvas number as well, which is good because sometimes you don't always get that canvas number on when they've got uh, the grip seal bags. And then I always think if you get them separated, then what are you going to do? Uh, oh, oh we'll have a look at the toolkit. Oh, we've got the good tweezers in there as well. And I'm completely blaming uh, Rachel, Fitzy Diamond Painter. She has got a YouTube channel if you want to check her out. There's a, a link down below. Uh, 35 colours, 30 by 40 and it's two little Scotty dogs in their little jumpers and I just thought well it's a Scotty dog one I've not got so I'm just going to have to get it as I say Rachel found it so I'm cut it's Rachel's fault it's not my fault at all for buying it it's Rachel's fault for seeing it and telling me about it 
All right, where's my scissors? Let's get into this and have a look. Uh, yeah, double-sided tape. So my least favourite, but to be honest, the last one that I did, because the drills were nice and because this is a round or is it a square? This is a round. Then it was quite enjoyable to do and I got to a point I didn't mind the double-sided tape. So it all depends on your quality when you're getting double-sided tape. Some people do prefer double-sided tape because they say um, that the drills go on it better and uh, they stay on better. But I do like, because um, my eyesight's not brilliant, I do like my poured glue because I do find that the poured glue um, just gives you that little bit of extra wiggle room. You can just move your drills around a little bit because I don't always get mine centralised. I've got this tape stuck to me, look. <laughs> Came off there. Get off. Right. Yes, I didn't expect to be fighting with sellotape when I'm talking about double-sided tape. Okay. Have a look at that in a second. That looks uh, certainly uh, up from a standard toolkit. So it's one of these. Ooh, and it's in three pieces. So it's a standard um, canvas. Quite a, a pliable canvas, soft canvas, on a little teeny tiny foam roller, my goodness me. And we'll just give it a flat mount. This one is from Momo Art on um, AliExpress and I have used them before. I've had quite a few bargain ones from them. But this one cost me uh, £8 and nine pence. That's with uh, postage and taxes and everything. Because uh, everything coming into the UK now I just have to be taxed. Okay, so we'll just slowly pull this up. It looks in a very good nick, albeit. Oh, look, we've got an overlap here. That's not good. Okay, so there's an overlap where the three pieces have been put on. I can only think it's cheaper to buy the double sided tape in the smaller size. Because if you remember the Christmas one that I've recently finished, um, the, the Scotty Dog, was this size and it had one piece of the uh, cover sheet on, so it was one big piece of double-sided tape. And then you don't end up with the ridges down the middle where they've overlapped the tape. Uh, okay. Uh, it got grabbing me. You do tend to find that you get quite an overhang as well of the tape that's very sticky so you can either use a craft knife and cut that off or use your washi tape and just cover that over and um, i'll just show you there see if you can see that yeah you can just along here look where the tape's been overlapped slightly so we've just got a little bit of a ridge so i'll just need to work a little bit on that to make sure that it uh, stays flat the other side is more or less the same, but the other side is not as bad. You can't really see it as much there, but there is a ridge there as well, which isn't great. Oops, I'm back. Sorry about that. I just heard the most enormous crash from downstairs and thought Hubby had fallen over again, but he hasn't. He's okay. <laughs> oh dear, he just, start, he just wakes up. Um, and starts doing really, really silly things. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so let's have a look at this canvas. So this drill field looks pretty good. Okay, the uh, symbols look pretty clear there on the dark colour. It's the dark colours that I always tend to look at. Um, and I can't see that there's any blurriness. We have got that little sort of inventory key code there so that makes life a little bit easier for seeing them but yeah 35 colours so let's see if we can just put this back down again if you do get double sided tape always try to be oh that's gone a bit wonky let's put the middle one down first careful with it because you can get rivers and bubbles but I have found that as I say with that last canvas that I did um, that was in a terrible state when I received it but I did work on it and it did come out really really well and the drill stayed down well and uh, I was really pleased with the picture and really enjoyed doing it so 
Um, I don't think there's many that are going to be irretrievable if you do get them in a bad state but obviously you shouldn't receive them in a bad state um, and always let the manufacturer know or ask for your money back or ask for a replacement you are paying for a canvas that's come perfect in good quality in good quality <laughs> oh dear my brain's not working yeah so you don't want to be uh, paying for something that isn't usable or that you have to then start messing around with and spend a couple of hours or whatever flattening it down and taking bubbles and rivers out you know it should come perfect so yeah this one's with me and so it's a nice soft canvas as well it's been a little bit crinkly at the edges now where i've uh, flattened it out but yeah i think that's really lovely i'll put it the right way up please so this one will be going in my folder I don't know when i'll get around to doing this one but I get them when I see them because you never know when they're going to disappear and not be available again. Okay, let's just have a quick look at this toolkit. Seems to be quite a bit in it. It's got the good heavy metal tweezers and they are very, very sharp, very pointy. So always keep your little cover on those. We've got a pink pen with one of the new style of three places and it's got one of those shaped pen squishies so yeah they're quite handy actually because you can use them either way around so you can use them with the smaller bit at the bottom or the larger bit at the bottom it's entirely up to you so yeah and we've got a 10 placer i would say that is so again the new style which are the smaller thinner ones got a large plate of wax you've got a little flat bottomed boat and um, oh that's quite that's like soft plastic rather than hard plastic okay that's different oh and this one is as well oh how strange i've not had those before usually the boats are quite rigid at them quite the hard plastic but these are quite soft okay so that's your toolkit so that's a good toolkit certainly a step up from just a standard basic toolkit have a quick look at the girls. Yeah, okay. Let's see, yep, they are all in the little grip seal bags. Oh, I can never get into these. <laughs> Where's the end? Where's the end? always try and do an inventory as well of your diamonds check them off and um, to make sure that you've got the right number because you know if you're not doing your kit straight away you can't really go to the manufacturer a year later and say by the way that kit I bought off you a year ago has got some drills missing and um, yeah it's always better to check them at the start <laughs> so let's have a look at 19 20 21 we've got 33 there we've got number one there is 310 uh, looks like there's one extra little bobble in that packet there but otherwise they look quite good but I do reserve judgment until I actually get all my drill uh, the drills put on my canvas because I do think you can't really tell how good drills are until you've used them okay oh these have got stuck together get off don't you make a hole in that bag I don't want to be collecting drills up so that's 1920 that's number three 30 there that's number no it's not that's number 21 oh dear my eyes my eyes 29 there 22 okay 15 14 i bet these were all in order in the bag you know and i've just tipped them out although they did look muddled up it wasn't just me <laughs> uh, 27 29 there 23, so that's 22, 23, uh, 17, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 32. Uh, lovely colours these, 25, that's 34, got number 24, 23, 24, 
27, 29, 25, 12. Oh, I've got some escapees there, look. Oh no. I've got a bag that's a little bit open, so we've got one, two there. I'll just pop that out one side of it. That's number 30, it's 29, 30. And that's number 7. That's number 28. So we'll get in there with these. That's quite a long number train there. Looks like we've got the oranges have escaped. Okay, don't you want to be in the bag with your friends? Uh, 11, 13. Oh no. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, what number 26? Okay. That's number three. Five. That's number 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. That's number 26 there, so that's 25, 26, so that's all those. So these must be the lower numbers then. That's number 35. Okay, number 8, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 4 and 6. Okay, so we have all our, our colours. Um, I shall just put those into here. Anyway, just in case I need them. You never know. <laughs> So we've got black and grey and a red and a deeper maroony red, blue, a rusty colour, a couple of greys, another browny colour and a peach. Let's try and keep them in order now. Uh, you can work from these bags if you want to but I tend to kit up now because I find particularly 35 colours is just too much for me. Um, oh, that's another drill there, look, that's a different coloured one. Just ones that have got stuck in the ends of the bag, I think. Um, yeah, I tend to, you know, put them into little containers because I find them easier to work with. So I've got four blues and a burgundy brown and a dark blue and that's a dark green and a dark brown. And 939 dark blue. That's a lot of blues, but then there's a lot of background sky. And uh, yeah, then all the little jerseys. So we've got like a maroon, a caramel colour, uh, and a brown, and a peachy orange, and another green, burgundy, pure, a rosy pinky colour, purpley pink, and a pink sort of salmony colour, and a bit lighter. And then that one is a dark brown again. Okay. And the last few, we've got like a salmony colour again. Um, very pale, sort of yellow colour, yellow green. Uh, a couple of browns, rose. Oh, that's a lot of blue. So they're the two main colours. I think they seem to be the biggest bags. And then that's probably the jerseys. Okay. So yeah, they don't look bad. Nice little assortment of colours there. But yes, it's Scotty Dog, so I will definitely enjoy doing it. Put my inventory sheet into the bag with them. Then at last one. Now then this one is actually a present so I'm not going to fully open it but I will show you it um, because I don't think she'll see the uh, unboxing. So yeah. Okay. okay so then this one is a present for my daughter and family um, and they actually have an Akita and this is a 40 by 50 canvas and I won't tell you the price because it was a present but uh, 
yeah and it's from the pig zoo store and that's who i did my christmas scotty from i've mentioned it about 60 times i think in this video <laughs> yeah that christmas scotty that i did um was actually from the pig zoo store so i know that um the canvas and the drills should be okay the only downside is it's coming all the little teeny tiny bags which aren't the best to work with oh gosh look at all this background that we've got it is round drill and um, let's just see if we can get in and have a look at the inventory sheet see what we've got i think i must have cut that when i put the packet open uh, let's see how can we get in uh, has it got that opening yes that. so yeah uh, daughter and family do like diamond painting. So, if that right, I'll get her one of the dogs, see if she wants to do it. If she doesn't want to do it, then I'll probably do it for her because, as you know, I do like diamond painting. So, this one is, let's say on there, no, I'll have to count these. Right, this one is 30 colours and it's all symbols which are quite fun to do which they tend to be when they're in these little bags you seem to get sort of more of the um, different symbols so yeah that's another bit more close-up picture of the little Akita but it does look like her Akita she has a beautiful dog and uh, this is her second one no, this is her third one because she had uh, mum and dad and then they had two lots of puppies and the puppies uh, went to new homes and then she uh, unfortunately lost her other two and actually the dog that she's got now is more or less the same age as uh, our little Millie. So yeah, there were puppies together but unfortunately he's just far too big for Millie now and he just tends to tip her over and put his paw on her and she's not keen on that so they don't really get along anymore but uh, when they were puppies it was okay you know when they were a bit smaller not that he was ever small because he's a big dog <laughs> like big fluffy teddy bears or akitas a um, bit like I suppose along the lines of a husky or an alaskan malamut that kind of uh, dog but yeah he's gorgeous but i just thought that was a lovely picture so apologies that i'm not taking this one out to show you but i don't want to unroll it and then re-roll it um, and end up with bubbles or whatever on the canvas for her. But yeah, there's uh, plenty of colours in there. Okay, so I'll pop that back in. So I'll ask her if she wants to do it or if she wants me to do it for her. Okay, so we've had our Scotty Dogs, which, uh, yeah, is definitely Rachel's fault. If I hadn't have seen it, I wouldn't have bought it. <laughs> Somebody else would probably have told me about it instead. <laughs> I've got my present that is uh, my Akita dog. And then I've got my little prize, which was my hair card. And toolkit. Okay. Again, oh, we didn't look at this toolkit, did we? But it's uh, fairly standard. I'll probably uh, give my daughter both toolkits to work with. Okay, well, thank you ever so much for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed uh, looking at these with me. If you have, thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you've got any comments or questions, if you leave them in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press the subscribe button down in this corner and the old notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So thank you ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.